A new Axios and Ipsos poll shows that 80% of Americans either strongly or somewhat agreed with the statement, America is falling apart. Now this poll was conducted this past week from Monday to Wednesday, uh, 1000 respondents and 80% of them, four and five, four out of five said, yes, I agree with that. America's falling apart. Or I mostly agree with that, that America is falling apart. The scary thing is <laughs> they're not wrong, but at the same time, this poll is also wrong. And I get to that in just a minute, but let's talk about why the poll and the respondents are correct. And honestly, it's far more than just looking around, you know, watching the insurrection that took place. Th that's a horrible, bad sign. And yes, it's a sign we're falling apart, but that's not the only reason we're falling apart. There are these systemic problems that we have in the United States today, right? The imbalance in our justice system, where if you have money, you don't have to go through the same justice system as everybody else. If you're a person of color, you're going to go through a much harsher justice system than somebody who committed the same crime, but is white. Studies have proven that that is a sign that this country is falling apart. Our economy, our economy is designed to hold down those at the bottom. So there is no upward mobility. Our political system is designed to reward those at the top and to perpetuate this economic system that only rewards the ones at the top because they have the money, which the Supreme court says is free speech. So they get to buy off the politicians and the cycle continues. That's a sign. The country is falling apart. Physically speaking, look at the infrastructure in this country, no major upgrades in over 20 years. Our country is quite literally falling apart. Factor in the environmental destruction we're doing countries falling apart. So yes, this poll is accurate, but in far more ways than the people who are responding to this even realize, because I am sure the people who are responding to 80%, most of them are just referring to what happened in the last week. We got a president who impeached twice. We got the insurrection. He didn't want Biden to take over and the election lies and maybe a little, 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 no, 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 no. It goes so much deeper than that. And it is falling apart far worse than anybody realizes. Now, second part of this about why this poll is total crap. <laughs> and that is because the poll itself has a margin of error of 4.6%. That's really, really bad. Um, I have talked about this at length over on the, uh, ring of fire YouTube channel. I haven't mentioned it yet here on fair and balance. So let me uh, take you through a quick lesson as somebody who went to school for political science, have a degree in political science. One of the things you have to do, at least where I went to school is you have to take a class, political science, research methods, and most of the research methods in political science, which I believe is the actual name of the class is polling because that is a huge part of political science. And the first thing we were told, the first thing that I wrote down in my notebook that I actually still have from that class is never trust a poll with a margin of error greater than 3%. If you have a poll with a margin of error of greater than 3%, it is unreliable. And this poll here is 4.6%. That's pretty bad. And keep in mind too, I hate to date myself on this a little bit. This, I was taking this class in what, 02 or 03 ish, maybe somewhere is about there. So yeah, we had cell phones. Everybody had cell phones at the time. We didn't have smartphones though. Internet was slow as hell. We have more access to information today. We have more access to people today. Back then, uh, you couldn't call and solicit somebody on their cell phone. So Polls were only done with landlines. So they were far less representative than what we're able to do today. So having a poll today, that's less reliable than one from 20 years ago. That's ridiculous. And that's a faulty poll and the pollsters should be ashamed of themselves. However, the overall premise of it is still correct. The country is falling apart. It's just not necessarily falling apart only for the actions of the last two weeks more like the actions of the last, say 50 years. That's probably where we're at about right now. 